They think I'm crazy. But they don't know that there's a story behind my crazy praise. I grew up in the church. I did all the right things. And when I was 18, I went off to university on a basketball scholarship because I was going to the WNBA and nothing was gonna stop me. Ball was my life. You wanted to know anything about defense? You spoke to me. Offensive plays, I was unstoppable. I studied that game like it was my life until I met this guy in my second year. And I mean, he said all the right things, promised me a life full of love. And, and I studied his game. I studied his game like I studied basketball. But for some reason, I misread some of his plays because when I thought he was on the offensive pursuing me, I realized he was on the defense when I was asking him about all those girls that were lurking around him. But it's whatever, I mean, no big deal. I was gonna end it anyway. I knew the relationship was bound to fail. So I was ready, you know, I was about to break up with him, but then, but then why, why did I have to be pregnant? Because that was not part of the plan. I had 26 games left for the year and my scholarship. Like there's no baby that's a part of that. No, and nothing was gonna stop me from being the first Canadian drafted in the WNBA, no. So I, the decision was easy. I knew what I had to do. I was gonna have an abortion. So I just, you know, I got, I prepared everything for the abortion and I went to bed that night confident in my future. Until I had a dream that I would never forget. I dreamt, I dreamt that I was in the middle of a basketball court by myself and there were all these people, all these people and they were screaming, they were screaming my name. voices telling me, telling me that I'm going to make it. Yes. And I believed them. Nothing was going to stop me. church is going to backbench you when they find out your dirty little secret. No, 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 stop, 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 stop saying that, stop, stop, I can hear, I can hear the mocking on one side and the cheering on the other, I was so confused and scared, I didn't know what to do, stop. Up and I, I had to have my baby, and I did. Not one, two, or three. I became the woman with the four kids. I 
I quit basketball and I got married. And after the first child, I just had a little trouble, you know, connecting. And after the second baby and that time, that, that time when I had the pillow in my hand and I just wanted some sleep. I just want some sleep. I just want some sleep. I wanted her to stop crying so I could get some sleep. Stop crying. Stop. I just want to sleep. And I had the pillow, the pillow in my hand and the phone rang. And, and um, it was Sister Jane. She was calling because she had some baby formula that she wanted to bring over. And I felt like such a terrible mother. What kind of mom would want to throw her baby out the window? <laughs> they were right. I was a failure. And I could hear them. I can hear them mocking me over and over and over again. <laughs> I should have just chose basketball. My life would have been so much different. That's probably why Michael left me. And now I'm the woman with the four kids. Those church people, they don't know what they're talking about. They don't know why I embarrass myself dancing and praising the way I do. Because music calms me. <laughs> Pure crazy people come and see a church, you know. So the woman with the four kids, last week is must about four times she run around the church. About she worship. The king After of the kings, time? sing the praises to our king, for he's the king of kings. Oh, hail King Jesus! Yes, 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 yes! I wish they would sing that song every week. And I don't care how the church people stare at me because it only lasts for a few hours anyway. But then she do it the second time. And the third time. By the fourth time, eh, eh, pure flesh. And look how she run. Like one man. She must think this is a sporting event. This is a church. We have to do things in decency and in order. I have pizza. Where am I going to get that money from, huh? I have no money, no husband. I'm not getting anywhere in life. Don't you see that right? I'm nothing. I'm a failure. I'm nothing. And after the fourth child, I just had enough. Woman, with the four kids, sit down. <gasps> And the feelings, the feelings of hopelessness. Oh, wait, no, no example to the young people coming up in this church. No example. I watch the church people them cheering her on. I don't exhaust this kind of slackness. There is no point. No point. So I decided that that day would be my last. That day would be it. There's no point. There's no point. But before I could plan my exit plan, I heard a knock at the door. <sighs> It was Sister Jane. Boy, that lady is nosy. She just would not let up on me. And this time, she brought a friend. Yeah, 
I remember because Johnny was four months old at the time. She had brought a public health nurse. And what I realized that day was Sister Jane knew that I wasn't okay. She paid attention. And she got me help that day. She helped me book an appointment with my doctor, got me involved in some community resources and put me in some mom's groups. And now I am helping the youth in my church. <laughs> and guess what? You, you won't even believe it. Like, <laughs> I'm planning a sports fun day for the youth at my church. Do you know what that means? That means I get to play ball again. <laughs> Me, I get to be on the court. <sighs> I have been through a lot of pain. And I have got to keep living. I've got to keep living because Jesus cares for me. And I've got to keep living for my kids. My kids. I love, I love my kids so much. And yes, yes, I've had postpartum depression, but with God and someone who paid attention, I got the help I need. That is why I praise and dance the way I do, because music is my therapy. And by the way, my name is not the woman with the four kids. My name is Teresa. I belong to a church for a very long time. Every chance I got, I was always trying to get by.